NAWAPA has been conceived as one possible solution to help the collection and distribution segments of the overall continental water management problem. In terms of water, power, flood control, transportation, and recreational facilities, more than 33 of the states would directly benefit. In Canada, seven provinces and one territory would directly benefit, as would regions in northern Mexico. The primary sources of water collection are in southeastern Alaska, the Yukon Territory, and British Columbia. In the Nawapa concept, only about 20% of the surplus water of the collection area will be used. 40% or more of the surplus could be made available. A series of dams and power stations will provide the power for pumping the water up to the Rocky Mountain Trench at 3,000 feet. The trench is a natural geological defile some 900 miles long from 5 to 15 miles wide. About 500 miles of the trench would be utilized as the reservoir site. From the trench reservoir, water is pump lifted to the sawtooth reservoir. From here, water flows southward by gravity via lined canals and tunnels throughout the system, passing the sawtooth mountain barrier through a tunnel 80 feet in diameter and 50 miles in length. Continuing its gravity flow, the water will help meet the needs of the western part of the continent. Water for irrigation, power, recreational facilities, and other uses would flow for distribution to eastern Oregon, to Utah, to Nevada, California, Arizona, and northern Mexico. A diversion aqueduct in Utah would provide good quality water in bulk to those areas currently using Colorado River water with its excessive mineral content. That good water could, by leaching process, eventually recover thousands of acres of valuable farmlands, which have become degraded by the Colorado's excessive mineral content. On the east slope of the Rocky Mountains, water would be pumped by way of the Canadian and Purgatory Rivers and distributed east of the Continental Divide. This water would be drawn upon by New Mexico, Texas, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, and Oklahoma. The Peace River Reservoir outflow and diverted flows from several streams on the east slope of the Rocky Mountains would supply the Canadian Great Lakes Canal. In excess of 40 million acre feet per year would reach Lake Superior and provide for irrigation and other water demands of Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Western Ontario. This important part of the system would also yield considerable power. The Canadian Great Lakes Canal would alleviate falling levels and pollution of the Great Lakes, as well as augmenting the power potential of the Niagara and St. Lawrence rivers. Normal water levels then could also fortify water supplies in troubled eastern areas. The Nawapa concept includes a seaway between Lake Winnipeg and Hudson Bay via the Nelson River. Another seaway would connect Georgian Bay with James Bay. A barge canal would connect the ore fields of Labrador and Quebec with the Great Lakes. These waterways would provide Canada with cheap ship and barge transport, thereby opening its iron ore, coal, potash, sulfur, forestry, and agricultural resources to extensive development. The waterways would also contribute to the economic welfare of Ontario and Quebec, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York, which are closely and historically associated with the Great Lakes. Branching off from the Canadian Great Lakes Canal, another canal large enough for barges connects with the Missouri and Minnesota River systems to serve the needs of Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Actually, all the Central Plains states and all those bordering the Mississippi River would benefit.